For the introduction, we will review some topics in algebra that will serve as pillars on your developing knowledge in the field of information sciences and computing. The set of real numbers is the basic set of numbers used in algebra. There are many different types of real numbers. To understand better, we will study some of the subsets of numbers that make up this set. The first subset is the set of rational numbers. Rational numbers are numbers that are written as ratios or as quotients of an integer. We use the letter Q or quotient to name the set of rational numbers and write the set in the set builder notation as follows. Q is equal to the set containing A over B such that A and B are integers with B is not equal to zero. Examples of rational numbers are 7, 9 over 4, negative 17 over 10, and 0. Note that rational numbers are numbers that can be expressed as ratios. So 7 is a rational number since it can be represented as 7 over 1. In general, Rational numbers are those numbers that repeat, such as 3.222 and so on, or terminates such as 3.20. Some numbers in the rational numbers have their own sets, such as the set of natural numbers or counting numbers. The set of all counting numbers with zero is called the set of whole numbers. The set of all whole numbers with negative numbers are called as the set of all integers. The second subset of real numbers is the set of irrational numbers. These are the numbers that cannot be expressed as ratios of integers. To understand clearly, consider the square root of 2. We all know that square root of 2 multiplied by itself is 2. However, when we solve for the square root of 2 first, we get the result of 1.414. And multiply by itself, the answer is 1.999396, which is not 2. Thus, square root of 2 is not equal to 1.414, but is an approximation. There's no terminating or repeating decimal that will give exactly 2 when multiplied by itself. So square root of 2 is an example of an irrational number, as well as the square root of 3, square root of 5, square root of 7, and many more. If rational numbers either repeats or terminates, irrational numbers don't. One very famous example is the pi. Pi is equal to 3.141. Five, nine, two, six, five, four, and so on, wherein the number does not repeat nor it terminates. The set of rational numbers and irrational numbers have no common numbers. Together, they form the set of real numbers. The set can be visualized as the set of all numbers in the number line. 